and our tea here, guys. So, this is part one of rebuilding this Polaris Express 300 pull starter. And what we'll be doing, it's got all these little parts cleaned up. I am, I, there is a little spring that goes with it, but uh, I guess somehow I managed to lose that little spring. So, but we don't need that till it's time to fully put this back together. So, but we'll be focusing on winding up this dang spring. The legendary pain in the rear recoil spring. Every pull starter has one of these. What I like to do is there's a little notch right there. You get this. Try to bring you guys as close as possible so it's easy for you guys to see. Maybe I'll try something like that. Yeah, I'll try something like that. Okay, so you take this spring. You find a little notch that goes in in there. You stick it in the notch. And from there... You basically... Start lining it. And sometimes... If it don't line as easy on that side... Try the other way. Like this. Go ahead and see you guys back out like that. You basically just keep this is the way I like to do it. Uh, there is the way which you can use a drill and a nail. But the problem with that is you would have to have a drill and sometimes that way doesn't work. Sometimes this way doesn't work. But, this way seems like the easiest to me. Because you literally got all the stuff right here. It's just, takes your time. Wind it up. Sometimes... And just like that. Okay. The spring is in the housing now. And you take this. There should be a little notch. This little plastic shim goes right over that. Over this, it looks like this. Got wearing it in on the vest factory. This little shim in there. But, uh,. You find that notch, but we're not going to find that notch first because we got to get a rope. We got to get a new rope. I'm probably going to go with cub record. Um, then you got all your little parts right here. Uh, like this. And what you can do for that so it doesn't come unwound. Is you can take a vice grip like this, put them right where that notch is, just like that.
just like that come right where that notch is and there something like that just like that and I can hold it I'm holding the spring if you're careful you can hold the spring I like to put a certain amount of tension on it way too much okay just like that so that spring is ready to be installed and sometimes you can put notch here sometimes it go there but if this is in the way and you gotta pull it here and move it down because you can crush that and break it it is spring still so unless this get unless you heat this up and you try bending it will crack and you don't want that happening But uh, I don't have any pull star rope in stock, so probably should order some pull star rope. It's one thing I need to order a spark plug shelf and just a bunch of stuff to uh, have in stock for stuff like this, like pull start rope, wire. I do have wire, but not pull start rope. So. But this is gonna be basically the, all this video is. I know it's pro, I said it's gonna be part one, but it's more of how to recoil the spring or how to rewind that spring than anything. So I don't know if I'll still title it part one or not because it's not really rebuilding it. It's more of just showing you how to recoil the spring. So either way, this is how you recoil a spring. If this ain't part one. That will be part one. I gotta order some parts. And uh, go from there. So, let's go ahead and put this one bolt back in here. This is a inspection slash oil port. This is cast aluminum, so you want to be careful. It's not the shiniest. But you take some, like I'm doing here, some 220. Can you really just scratch that up real quick? And look how much shinier that is. I do have a blast con it, that would probably be better. Please subscribe, like, comment, share our video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.